Wait. It's a minute. Come on, Josh. <laughs> What's up with the game? It's your boy, Josh. Back with another video, man. Today we got uh Lil Woody. We just did his 20 versus one like a few days ago. But um, this is funny. This is funny. So he's an affiliate of um Young Thug YSL. And YSL is a gang, an alleged gang, and they're they're facing a Rico. And Thug been in jail for like two years now, I think. They, I think they're trying to give him life. So he's fighting a Rico case. And I guess he's like a witness, testimony. I don't know. He giving his testimony. He, he don't really want to be there. Like, he don't want to be there. He look like he don't want to be, be there. Somebody said he look like a deacon in this suit. <laughs> but I'm telling you, he do not like being in court. Like, this mess is so funny. Well, so like being in court, Josh? No, it's like the way he be talking. You would think somebody be up there nervous, like, answering every question. He just be... <laughs> It'd be funny. But you finna see. We finna get straight to it. If you're new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow the Instagram, popsjosh.com to get the merch. Let's get straight to it, gang. Instru Why didn't y'all let Gator raise in court? <laughs> Bro, he, he don't take it serious. Like, you gotta you gotta watch this. Fulton County, our, 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 this is Atlanta? Yeah. All right. It's Monday morning now, and I need to find out from you what your night. intention is with regard to um, whether going viral, like, going you were going to testify in this case. You have been granted immunity so that um, the privilege of self-incrimination is no longer relevant because the state can't use anything that you might say in answer to their questions or any other questions against you. Um, and you have been instructed with the benefit of counsel as to the consequences if you don't testify. So I'm asking you now what your intention is. May I speak? You can answer my question, please. And so you're under subpoena. We... <laughs> the state intends to question you. Are you going to answer any of those questions? Are you going to testify in this case? Well, Young, I've been pressured from the get go. You know what I mean? Like, even when I went to the meeting with Glenville, I have told him over and over and over and over. You know what I mean? I, this is on my conscience. I I got to keep distracting myself every every day because I'm being dragged down in here to here because of lies that I don't told. I'm tired of y'all bothering me. He said lies. Okay, well, I'm sorry that, that you're tired of being bothered, but you're I under think. subpoena. It's a valid court order. So your decision at this point is, yes, I will abide by the subpoena and testify, or no, I will not abide by the subpoena and the immunity order, and I will be held in contempt for my refusal and put in jail. So which is your oh, he gotta do it. decision? But I did it time for all my crimes that I was caught for. <laughs> sure, this, is, this would not be any kind of punishment for any crimes you may or may not have committed. This would be that you have been ordered by a court to testify. And mm. if you refuse to testify, you're held in contempt. You're you saying, I refuse to listen yeah. to the court's it's order and obey it. The, what, what, and you know, it is not a punishment. It is an incentive Wait to the lady have start you change asking your mind questions. and obey oh the court order. So which is your decision? Can you explain it to me? Said we talked about it. It's the same thing that Glenville is doing to me. It is the same order that is still in control. You have a subpoena for your testimony. That is a court order. You also have a court order that says anything that you say that can't rascal be does used not want to be in court. You. Other than if you get on the stand and see, lie, this is why and it is this it stuff, amounts we'll to see perjury. Do you this can be kind charged of with mess. that or with false statements. <laughs> Um, but if you refuse to testify altogether, when you're under a court order to do that, then that is considered contempt because you're saying, I don't care what the court has ordered. I'm not going to do it. And then you'll be put in jail through the end of this trial So my, or uh, until you decide, you know what? I think I will testify after all. So let me, young, I'm telling you to your face. You just said it. Something about it, they can lock me up for lying. I'm telling you to your face, this is all I do. And you're telling me that they can lock me up if I lie. 
But if they, if I sit here and testify, so the e way going to jail? No, not with regard to anything that you might testify to that but might he actually, otherwise he actually say, smart. admit like he know what to, to say. a crime or admit to your involvement in a crime. That's what the immunity order does. And I'm sure Mr. Melnick has explained this to you, and I know I've explained it previously. But none of that is going to result in you being put in jail because they cannot use that evidence against you to prove any of those crimes that you might incriminate yourself about. So are you going to testify or not? <laughs> His whole feelings is hurt. <laughs> this is not funny, but it is. Do you want to talk to Mr. Melnick again? No? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to have you step out. <laughs> Did you see that smile? Look. Look. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to have you step out for just a minute while we get the jury in. Wow. Mr. Melnick, if you could step out with him, please. Just so. <laughs> he looked like that bad kid that, that, that got in trouble in school. Well, no, when she start asking him questions, oh my yes, God. I, I am. I was going to race with this cold deal, though, to tell him that. I don't know if he's been told that or not. All right, Mr. Copeland, I'm going to remind you that you are still under oath. Go ahead, Ms. Hilton. Thank you, Your Honor. Good, good morning. Mr. Copeland, do you know a person by the name of Shell Cal? I don't recall. Okay. Are you saying you don't recall if you know someone by the name of Shell Cal? I shouldn't answer your question. Sustain. Mm-hmm. Do you recall speaking with law enforcement about an individual that you know by the name of Shell Kell? I don't recall. Okay. They asked him <clears throat> some stuff from back from 2015 that happened in 2015. <clears throat> I want to go back to December of 2014 and into January of 2015. Were you present at a gambling house in Lakewood uh, when a shooting occurred? I don't recall. <laughs> Let me ask you. <clears throat> also, back in 2015. He don't recall nothing. Do you remember being at a Cascade skating ring speaking with an individual by the name of Shell Cow? I don't, don't recall. Recall. <laughs> <laughs> Back in January of 2015, do you recall being at a um, club, Club Crucial, and getting into a fight with an individual by the name of Shell Cow? I don't recall nothing that happened years ago. All right. Did y'all keep asking? <laughs> She should have said, do you recall, do you recall in January of 2015 like, that having happen. to go to the Atlanta Police Department to talk about a murder, to talk about whether or not you were involved in the murder of an individual by the name of Donovan Thomas Jr.? Say that again. Do you recall in January of 2015 having to go to the Atlanta Police Department to speak about your potential involvement in the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. I don't recall. All right. I think he I think he killed somebody though before. He, he in recall. January on <laughs> January eleventh, two thousand and fifteen, did you go to the Atlanta Police Department at about three o'clock in the morning? I don't recall. 
Okay. And did you speak with a detective by the name of Detective Thorpe? I don't recall who I speak with. I don't recall. Okay. And during that interview, did you Why is go he even down testifying? there to speak with the murder, he's to speak with him about the murder YSL. of Donovan Thomas Jr.? I don't recall who I spoke with. Okay. And in that same interview, did you speak with him about not just the murder of Donovan Thomas, but events that led up to the murder of Donovan Thomas on June 10th, 2015? I'm a liar. So uh, you want me to, to re remember something that I don't lie about in the past? Like, I, I, I don't know. So my question for you is, did you go to the Atlanta Police Department? Is your response you don't recall? I don't recall. Okay. And during that interview with Detective Thorpe at the Atlanta Police Department, this did you how, provide him your... This is how y'all used to sound. When y'all would do some, some messaging and had no business doing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Name and your but you can't use this against him. He's saying he don't recall. I'd kick huh? y'all's tails anyway, though. When you went to the Atlanta Police Especially Department if I knew. and met with Detective Thorpe, did you give him your date of birth? I don't know. Okay. And is your date of birth July 25th, 1991? You better not say it. You better not say it. <laughs> you better not. What? Is your date of birth July 25th, 1991? <laughs> we talking about what? <laughs> Oh my God, boy. <laughs> he trying to figure out how to Wait, not, not to is answer. Is your date of birth July 25th, 1991? I think. Okay. And during this interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you also have a middle okay, name? Okay, man, I'm Xavier? done with this. <laughs> this is stupid. I don't... Okay. I don't know what I told. I don't remember what I told him. Okay. I'm not trying to say the wrong thing so y'all can lock me back up. All right. Well, just bear with me. We're going to go through that interview. You're not going to get locked up. Objection to the commentary. Now, disregard the commentary by the witness. Now, during the interview, wow. Um, <laughs> did you speak with Detective Thorpe about? the issues you had with a person by the name of Kel? I don't recall. This is lucky kind of hard. And did you speak with Detective Thor about a problem that the two of you all had in the yeah, club? Yeah, but that knot is just horrible. Mm -hmm. That, that knot is killing me, yeah. I don't recall. That <laughs> knot is just... And did you tell um, Detective Thorpe in that same interview like a biscuit. that it's Kel a was Windsor or nothing. nut little brother? Looked like a loaded Dorito. I don't know if they brothers or not. Okay, so do you know who Kel is? No, I don't recall. Okay. And <laughs> when I say nut, is that Donovan Thomas Jr.? Mm. I don't recall. You asking me that? I am asking you that. <laughs> Say that again. He sure. asking nobody else in the courtroom, dog. Do you know a person that oh. goes by the name of Nut? I don't recall. Okay. Now, in that same interview, <laughs> do you did you tell Detective Thorpe about you and Kel getting into the fight at Club Crucial? I don't recall nothing from 2015. Oh. 14, 16, none of that. Okay. And during that same interview, did you um, tell Detective Thorpe that you and Kel had been in a beef for maybe about no longer than four months? And this was back in 2015. And he's still alive? My question is, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you, Michelle Kel, at that time in 2015, had a beef and it was probably going on around four months at that time? I tell the detective whatever they want me to say, whatever they want to hear, whatever, whatever. So if I said it to him, I said it to him. I don't recall what I said to no police. Okay. And during that How same easy you supposed to remember something from 2015? Did though? you tell Detective Thorpe? I don't. Okay, you're going to remember if, if you 
you know, you gonna they, remember fights when everybody in the club, you y'all would somebody just throw up birds at each other. Huh? In this January 11, 2000 interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that initially when you and Shokel were in the club, y'all never really fist fought? Y'all just would throw up birds at each other. Like I told you, before y'all called me to trial, I have lied. I made things up. I told you this before y'all brought me in this courtroom. And I'm telling you now, you asked me about 2015, I have got my life together. Y'all trying to put this on my conscience. Y'all trying to put people's life in my hands. I don't lie on people. I don't want to be here. Y'all have pressured me. I'm tired of y'all because y'all know y'all are wrong. And y'all black people doing this to us. And I understand that. Leave me alone. Let me leave. <laughs> Man, y'all piss me off. Listen, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. Stop asking me these questions. I'm telling you, I don't recall. I understand, but we're going to have to get through the questions. You can just continue saying you don't recall if that's what it is. That's what you want me to say? I want you to Hang answer the question. for just a minute. I don't think that you were instructing him how to testify. I hope not. But oh, I don't instruct him how to testify. Other Look, than this whole re- this this whole case any other objection, joke. or was that covered? All right, go ahead. So what happened? <sighs> it's a, you know what Rico is? Yes. So. Yeah. Why Sarah is facing it. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm saying, do you know the details of the case? Nah, I don't know. It's been going on for a long time, though. I know he's... So, when so you this, was this Kel recent? Spoke, yeah. Kel actually called ago. Thug on the telephone. <laughs> it's a it's fact on the listener, I know. It's yeah. a what? I'm sorry. It's a fact on the listener, Your Honor. Not whether or not he called, but what he did in response to being asked that. All right. Ever rule. So, did you tell Detective Thorpe that when you met with Kel at the Cascade Skating Ring, he asked you to call Thug? Okay, so this is what happened. Okay. The police call. kept locking me up for whatever they could. Every time I can't do the police was on me, and they keep bringing up Thug's name. So, what I did was... To get them off of me, I said, Thug did this, Thug did that, Thug did because I knew they would never, I knew he didn't do it. And they, I, in my mind, I knew that the police would never go mess with him. So it was easy for me to try to throw the blame off on him to get them off of me. And that's what I was doing from all these years. I don't remember what I don't told them in the past, but my whole motive was Thug did it because I knew he didn't do it and they couldn't lock him up. And they keep talking about Thug, 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 Thug. So guess what I'm going to tell them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what else you want me to tell him? <laughs> yeah, he killed his person. Yeah, he did that. That's what I. That's what I'm gonna do. And that's right now. If you tell, if I walk out this thing and, and and they say, they police stop me now. Hey man, give me some about the about to make some up about him again. On January 11, 2015, when you went to speak to the police, when they called you, did they ask you about Thug or did they ask you about the murder of Donovan Thomas? I don't know. I don't. Re- I don't remember. Did you go down to the police department on your own to tell them that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? Uh, did I go on my own? Did you walk into the police department <laughs> by yourself to tell them on the morning of January 11, 2015, weird, it's of that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? I don't recall. Okay. So you don't recall going to the police or you don't recall why? I don't you? recall none of it. Right. I just know... That every time the police was after me, trying to get me, they kept bringing his name up. And I knew that he had me what I had, so I was like, yeah, 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 whatever y'all want me to say, I was it. That's what I told Gaither and Dennis, and that's why they kept coming after me, because they felt like, okay, they can make a case out to him or whatever they trying to do. So they knew that, okay, we're going to get Wooded today. He's going to have something to say about the, and it's wrong. And y'all are wrong because y'all know that I'm full. And y'all keep trying to drag me in here to bring up <laughs> y'all know I don't say it. Why is y'all doing it? Leave me alone. If y'all gonna charge me for what I did, I don't did the time for the crimes y'all caught me for. 
He said shot Would comedy. Would you mind your language while we're sitting here in court? I'm trying to. You got. I'm. I'm on. Y'all need to give me a break because my blood pressure is real high. I keep telling y'all, leave me alone. Okay. And the quicker we get through this, the quicker we can leave you alone. Do you understand? Okay, that? I don't recall. Okay. <laughs> Going back to January 11th, 2015. I don't recall. You can first listen to the question first. When you went to the Atlanta Police Department, Detective Thor did ask you about She said 2015. You I don't recall. brought up Thug. Do you recall that? I did. You did. Okay. So let's continue. This is just how y'all would act too about During stuff. your and meeting I, with Detective Thor, <clears throat> when you went down to the police department, I say that so you could just. Did you tell him about the beef that you were having with Kel, with Shell Kel? Am I here to tell the truth or to remember my lies? <laughs> I want you to tell the truth. But you keep going to my lies, though. That's what you... Back in 2015, did you tell game. Detective Thor that this was a lie? I would have told the police whatever... Listen, when they get me, I'm, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to try to tell them whatever I can to finish my way out of whatever situation that I'm in. Okay. And it's only now in 2024 that you're saying that everything you said in 2015 is a lie. Is that correct? Because I went to the feds. Y'all didn't let me out of jail till what, four, four years later? So if I was telling the truth then, why it took y'all so many years to, to try to say, okay, he was being honest or whatever the case is. Okay. If I was telling the truth, y'all would have made any case back then. Y'all knew I was lying. Y'all put me in jail. Have you ever I had go to be do a my time. Like, I get out of jail, try to get my life together. Y'all yeah. trying to drag me not back into like the lies that I don't made. <clears throat> Y'all, what is, what's up? Can I ask you this? In 2021, when you interviewed with See, it's funny to the world. Rito, he actually like, after you got through. out of prison, did you tell her that everything you said back in 2015 was the truth, but we, but we as a state didn't believe you back then? So, so my thing is, right? Uh -huh. I went to jail. So the lies that I was telling, they didn't go for it. Y'all didn't go for it. Whoever didn't go for it. So I went to jail, did my time for it, right? And then y'all got me again. So guess what they say? Well, we're going to bring up the name again. And guess what I'm going to do? Try to finish my way out of it again because y'all ain't touching for the lies I don't told them on, on them in the past. Mm. So guess what? It ain't nothing to put the blame on Thug for what I did. Okay. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to blame him for and let me I, I don't recall. Okay, now let talking. me ask you this. You keep talking about Thug, but did were you asked about other individuals as well? During all these interviews, were you asked about Shannon? And I'm I'm gonna put the blame on him. Okay, were you asked about Demikion Garlington? I'm gonna put the blame on him. Were you asked about Quindarius Zachary? I'm gonna put the blame on everybody but myself. Okay. And during <laughs> this time, did all the police, every time oh, you spoke Lord. to someone, <laughs> did they tell you that they are gonna have to verify what you said? And did they? <laughs> My I question to you. I answer the question that she asked you. Did they tell you that we had to verify everything that you said? I don't recall. Okay. And when they told you they had to verify what you said, you continued to talk to the police. Because with the knowledge that I have, it's nothing to treat the police. But if they had to verify what you said, they had to make sure that what you said was true. How could you trick the police? Easy. I ruled. He said easy. How could you trick the police? Easy. How? I can't tell you that. Okay. <laughs> were you aware that the things that you talked about were verified? Sustained. What they mean? Sustain? Like he going? No. Right. They, they objected Injected said that break. I don't like the question that y'all yeah. asked. No, I'll step back said, to okay, I agree uh, with the jury right before me. Should be Thank asked. you. Uh-uh. That's the, they got through right there. Okay. <clears throat> he done got me. How does he get to wear that? Do they have him in custody? Yes. I think, yeah. He must not be. Well, he could be. I don't know. <clears throat> Josh? 
How, how many of these? Nah, they see. <laughs> nah, that miss was funny, though. That's crazy. But, I mean, he's... <laughs> I don't recall. That's how y'all would do. I don't know. I don't know who did it. I don't know who did it. I don't know. I used to say, I don't know, just to get out of it, like... Yeah, and... and, and this is just when, so you could just... Then when you get your tail kicked, then you get mad. Which doesn't make sense because you knew <laughs> in the it. first place, and that's just how y'all be looking too. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! Nah, that mess is funny. We probably gonna, we gonna do some more. Uh, I'm not doing no more of that mess. Um, I got a video that I want to do though. And right, that's the end of the video. If you new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow the Instagram, get the merch, follow the Instagram, same as YouTube, Josh Jones. Stay out of trouble. That way you don't end up looking like this. Please. All of y'all. Y'all be safe, gang. Peace.